hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make kunuzaki it is a creamy drink from the northern part of nigeria it is very delicious and very nutritious it is made from guinea corn millet soya beans and spices i'm going to show you how to make it in large quantity that you can use for commercial purpose you can sell it and you can also make for yourself and for your family at home so i'm going to list all the ingredients in the description box this is guinea corn i'm just washing it with a calabash to get rid of the stones under guinea corn has anti-inflammatory properties it is rich in fiber it provides essential nutrients and minerals and it is also a great antioxidant you can see the amount of stones from the guinea corn so right now i just added about half bucket of water into this bucket and i'm going to add the guinea corn once that is done i'm going to wash my millet it is very great it helps to reduce the risk of heart disease it helps with digestion it is also an antioxidant it helps to keep blood sugar low and it also boosts immunity i'm just going to rinse it and i'm going to add it into the bucket of water that i added the guinea corn So this is my soya beans. Soya beans is high in fiber. It is high in protein. It is low in saturated fat. It is lactose free. It is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids and it is cholesterol free. I just rinsed it and added it into the bucket as well. So right now I'm going to be adding my tiger nuts. It improves digestion. It reduces blood sugar levels. It boosts immunity and it is rich in nutrients. I'm also going to rinse the tiger nuts and I'm going to add it in the bucket of water so i'm just going to rinse it and add it so i'm going to allow everything to soak for about eight to ten hours i'm just going to give this a quick mix and we're going to start prepping the remaining ingredients So it is almost 10 hours right now and I'm going to prep the spices. So I have my cloves, I have my selling pepper and I and I have my black pepper corn. So cloves helps to reduce gas. It also has antibacterial properties. It boosts bone health and selling pepper is also anti-inflammatory. It has antiseptic properties as well. And they are very very good spices black pepper corn has anti-inflammatory properties it helps to reduce cholesterol and it is a versatile spice i also have my ginger i have my fresh ginger and my dry ginger but you can use any one you have available i just have the two that is what i'm using so you can use either the fresh ginger or the dry ginger i also have my sweet potato my dried sweet potato you can use the fresh ones if you have but this is what i have So right now I'm going to start prepping the spices. I'm going to add the dry ginger into a mortar and just pound it a bit. I'm not pounding it into a powder. I just want to crush it so I can get all the aroma from it. So I'm going to add my selling pepper, my black pepper corn and my cloves into the dry ginger and I'm going to just crush them together. Once that is done, I'm going to transfer it into another bowl and I'm going to crush my fresh ginger. As I said earlier, you can use either dried or fresh or you can use them together depending on the one you love and the one you have available. So once that is done, I'm going to add the dried sweet potato into a bowl 
and i'm also going to add the fresh ginger the dry ginger the cloves the selim pepper and the black pepper corn and just mix them thoroughly together So right now I'm just going to add a bit of water just to make it moist and just mix it until everything is well mixed together. So this is how it is looking this is the amount of water you want to add and this is how it should look and i'm just going to set it aside once that is done i'm going to wash the guinea corn the millet the soya beans and the tiger nuts that i soaked earlier on i'll wash it for about three times just to remove any form of dirt the essence of soaking it is just to make it easier to grind and i'm going to transfer it into this bucket you can see i have a bit of water there i added about four cups of water right now i'm going to add the mixed spices the cloves the gar the ginger the selling pepper that we mixed earlier on and i'm just going to mix them together with the guinea corn the millet the soya beans and the tiger nuts i'll just mix them and i'm going to rinse the bowl and just mix everything together so you don't need to add a lot of water because when you're grinding it you're going to add more water and as i said this is for commercial purpose or when you're making in large quantity so i'm not going to be blending it at home with a blender i'm going to take it to where they will blend it so this is just the woman washing the grinder to make sure that it is very clean because you don't want any other thing inside so once that is done she's going to start adding the mixture into the grinder and grind it until it is soft So she's going to grind it for about five to six times to make sure that it is very soft. She just she just added the one that is grinded back into the grinder. So this is the final one and this is how the mixture should look very very smooth. So right now, I'm going to transfer the mixture into a bowl. I'm going to transfer about three quarter parts of the mixture and I'm going to reserve quarter. I'm going to show you how to use it. Once I've added that, I'm just going to add some water to just dissolve the mixture. You want to make sure you use a big bowl because we are making a lot of konozaki. So everything is well dissolved and the one you also reserved you're going to add water to dissolve it as well so this is the one i reserved about three quarter about quarter i mean from the mixture we're using three quarter first then we're going to use the quarter some minutes later so right now i already have my water boiling on fire you want to make sure the water is boiling hot boiling water and I'm just going to add it into the bigger portion of the mixture. That is the three quarter portion. And I'm just going to mix it thoroughly. You can see how thick it looks. So you just want to keep mixing to make sure there are no lumps in there. So once you've mixed it for about five minutes, you're just going to leave it to rest for about 10 minutes. So once that is done, you're going to add the remaining parts that we reserved, the cutter. Why you're adding this is so that it will become liquid. Because if you don't add the raw one, that is the cutter, it will not become liquid. It will not become konunzaki, if that makes sense. So you're just going to add that into 
this mixture and you're going to mix everything thoroughly together you can see how thick and creamy it looks this recipe is very delicious it is versatile it is creamy and it is very nutritious all natural it is better than all the sodas and fruity drinks that we buy so i'm just going to leave this for about eight hours as well and this is how it is looking you just leave it in your kitchen for about eight hours you can see that it has turned liquid that is the importance of adding the raw mixture into the hot one okay so you're just going to use a cheesecloth to sieve it so this is my cheesecloth i'm just going to add the mixture to separate the liquid from the shaft so i'm just going to shake the cheesecloth to get the liquid out then when the liquid is almost done i'll just use my hand to press it to get all the liquid out Then I have this bowl that I just add the shaft. You don't need the shaft for anything. They give it to animals like goats and rams. So I'm just going to continue this process until everything is done. So our konunzaki is ready. So I'm going to add some sugar to sweeten it. The amount of sugar depends on you so i'm just going to add some sugar and i'll mix it and make sure that the sugar is completely dissolved in the konozaki see how delicious and creamy it looks So these are the bottles I want to put them. So even if you're making for commercial purposes, you can use such bottles or just get any bottles that you want to get. So I'm just going to transfer it into a jug and I'm also going to fill them in the bottle and I'll put them in the fridge to chill. It is very delicious when it is cold. Believe me, you need to try this recipe. Let me know in the comment section. Do you know this drink? Have you tried it before? And if you've not tried it, would you be trying it? It is very delicious because it has guinea corn millet. It has cloves. It has selling pepper. The spices and all the whole grains in this drink makes it very good and nutritious for the body. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.